Servus and welcome here. Some of you may have noticed that I did not release that much videos that I normally do. The main reason is first I was in holidays, second reason here we have a problem with the spindle. What did I do? I will show you. So this is the setup I had right before the crash. I milled those parts. After each layer I saw them off and take them away. Then I need to change the preset by 24.5 millimeters in set minus. I did this but I accidentally missed the dot. So it was 245 millimeters. And then the first tool basically want to go all the way down and you can imagine it was way too far and it hit the material and this basically crashed my spindle. So what to do in a situation like this? Basically I called the Hermless service and um, this is something I really appreciate at Hermless. Their service is outstandingly good. I'm not sponsored by Hermle. But this works the best way I ever had with machining uh, suppliers. Uh, so yesterday at around 3 p.m. I called them and informed them about my crash. And today at 9 a.m. all parts that might be damaged by this kind of crash are here as spare parts. So we have a brand new spindle that I still hope we don't need because Hermel is having this, this bushing systems where they have six little aluminum bushings inside the spindle. And when you get to a crash where you have like Z-axis crash like mine, uh, those, those bushings get deformed and take the energy out of that crash. Last time, that is just three weeks ago, this worked pretty well and my spindle got rescued and I just have to exchange that, that bushings, which is around 1,500 euro. Um, I do have a little bit of a bad feeling for this time, but uh, we will see when the technician have changed the bushings if, if spindle is running quiet and uh, the rotation is, is, is round. But anyway, we have all spare parts here from the spindle and from whatever is in that package, I have to say I don't know, but everything that could be attached will be here because having is better than demanding it. And uh, also the service technician will be here at around 10 or 11 a.m. And this is outstandingly good Hermle. So now the Hermle technician arrived with a full carload of parts and tools. And uh, I asked him and he is okay if I'm filming him changing the, the spindle or at least the bushings. Um, and I will show you how he did it. that I still hope we don't need. So what happened? Basically the last test the technician did on my spindle, like on the old one, was uh, he's checking the, I don't know the English word, the, the measurement, how centric the rotation is. Write me that word in the comments so I need it for next time. Um, yeah, basically the, the tolerance of, of, of Hermler itself for a maximum of, of this runout is um, 18 microns and the spindle is having like uh, two tenths of a millimeter. So way too much for, for everything that, that, that could, could be accepted. And this, this guides us to the point where we need to replace the spindle. I'm not so happy about this, but I had a feeling like this as uh, the, the last pretty similar crash is just three weeks ago where the bushing saved my, my spindle and um, this time basically it was too much and spindle needs to go. Now I get the, the Hermle black spindles, which means all the new spindles with new machines, they are silver. And when you get your first exchange spindle, you get, get black ones. At least they look good. Anyway, they charge you a lot of money for it and um, that's why I needed the coffee to, to calm down a bit. And um, this will be done tomorrow. And uh, yeah, 
So for tonight, enjoy your evening and we will see us back tomorrow. So good morning, welcome back to this spindle changing day in my, my company. Uh, the technician is already here and he's, he's working on the, on the spindle already. Uh, I tried to make a time lapse with it again, but basically getting it out, getting it in, it's not that fancy anymore. And um, after that, we will see how the spindle is running. I assume it's pretty good and um, we, we will make the first chips with it and then finally get over this, uh, <laughs> this period of, of unlucky and we will have luck again. Uh, thank you for your support here. Enjoy the time lapse and the chips. If you have any questions about it, about the process or whatever, write in the comments below. Follow me for more videos and um, for any advice or any, any questions, I'm, I'm pretty open for that. See you then. Bye. Here she finally is, my brand new refurbished black permanent spindle. Black because all the refurbished ones have black housing. The original ones that comes newly with machines are silver housings, uh, but technically there's no, no difference in it. We measured it, the, is it run out the word I'm looking for, still commenting it, um, at 300 millimeters from, from spindle nose is around four microns, which basically is nothing and uh, I'm really happy with that. I already did some chips with it. Chips come off really, really good. It's really, really quiet. I mean, it's new spindle. Uh, so I'm happy to have it. I'm not so happy that I will receive a big invoice for it. You can support me by watching my videos. I basically will need something between five to six million videos to, to pay for it. Uh, so keep on watching. Keep on watching anyways. Please subscribe, write me comments with any questions and see us next time then. Bye.